Alright guys, here's how you complete the Tenuto assignment. So in the band Schoology page, you click on Assignments. And that should open up a bunch of stuff here. And we'll click on Tenuto Note Names Part 2. It's pretty much the same as before. Only two things change. Number one, we're going to be doing 75 questions. You need to get at least 70 out of 75. And the other thing that's changed is, is right here. Uh, the key signatures. So uh, first you'll open Tenuto and select Note Identification. You'll click on the I button to reset your old score. I'm going to show you how to do all this so you don't have to remember this. You can follow along. Um, go to the settings and change the key signatures. This time we're going to do five different settings. Two sharps, one natural, and two flats. Choose your range. You may have to memorize this part. For example, if you play alto sax, you're going to, play, you're going to set a range of C below the staff to C above the staff. Make sure you have no helpers in the settings, no accidentals, no challenge mode. And then you click out of settings and begin the game until you get at least 70 out of 75. If you get up to 75, let's say you get 68 out of 75, you've got to reset it and start over. Uh, once you get that, there's only one way to submit it. You cannot take a screenshot and send that to me. You cannot uh, submit it to this assignment. You have to submit it via email. And here's my email address, ben underscore anderson at edenpr.org. Now let me uh, show you what that looks like on your iPad. So you should be able to do this here, if I get it right. Uh, I guess it's not going to let me do that. But anyway, you type in Tenuto, okay? And there's my Tenuto app. Open up the Tenuto app. And uh, the first thing it asked me to do is reset my score. I got a perfect 50 out of 50, as you can see here. But uh, I'm going to click on that I right there and hit Reset Score. It asked me would I like to reset. Yes. So now I have 0 out of 0. I need to go change my settings. Um, I have treble clef. You could certainly be bass clef or do both. Um, but whatever setting you have, you're supposed to keep that. Here's your range. Okay, this is the part where you set it specifically for the instruments you play. Positions should say lines and spaces. Key signatures. Here's the one we're changing. Last time we did three key, three key signatures. Some of you had trouble with that. You weren't sure what to click. We're going to add two more. One on the sharps and one on the flats. So we have these five. Okay, that's two sharps, one sharp, no flats or sharps, one flat, and two flats. Okay. Click back. Note names, letters, helpers is off, accidentals is off, okay, and challenge mode is off. You just set those to off and then click back. Now I should be all ready to go. I can just tap out of this by going on the main screen over here, and that'll do that, and then I can just start going, okay? I can name that one, and then that's a Right, you can just go as fast as you can. Shouldn't take too long to start naming a lot of these notes. All you have to do is know where it is, as a, if it's a space or a line, uh, and then know um, whether or not it has a sharp in front of it. Keep in mind that the, the treble clef is just a G. It just looks like a big G, and the loop part of the G is where the G line is. So if that's the G line, well this note is one note below the circled G line, so that must be F. But I'm not going to click F because there's a sharp there, and that sharp is on the top line F, E, G, B, D, F. So it must be sharp, F sharp. There's another F sharp at the top. Uh, so you can just gauge by where the E or where the G is in the treble clef. Now for bass clef, if I want to switch to that and take a look. The bass clef staff has those two dots on it, or the bass clef has the two dots on it, and those two dots um, are enclosing the F line. It's actually an F. The triple, the bass clef looks like an F, and so it circles out the F line. So this note here would be two notes above the F, um, so that would be F, G, A. No sharps on A, so I just click on A, and that's what it is, okay? G, no sharps. Okay, that one's a little tricky. You gotta count all your way all the way up. So that's F between the two dots. 
G, A, B, C, D, E, all the way up to E, no sharps, no flats. So there's a little bit of how to do it. Again, I repeat, you start by resetting your score, you go to the settings, you change the key signatures so that there are five selected, make sure that the range is right for your instrument, helpers off, accidentals off, challenge mode off. When you're done, you're going to submit by showing re progress report. It's right here under show progress report. This will pop up and it gives me a glimpse into how long, uh, how many tries you did and what mode you had set and make sure the settings are right. Then you click on this at the bottom, the little box with the arrow on it, and then you enter your name, Ben Anderson, and you sign it. That's saying that that's me. I did it. Nobody else did it for me. And then we're going to click on mail. When you click on mail, the mail app should show up. It's going to send me everything plus a verification link so that I can double check that you didn't tamper with it. And you type in my email address, Ben underscore Anderson at EdenPR.org. That's how you do it. Okay? And you're going to hit send. And then you're done. So you click done. All right, hope that helps everybody explain a little bit more how to do Tenuto. Good luck. You need to get 70 out of 75 today. And email it to me. Thanks.